Well, Farnborough head into today's game in 13th place with the prospect, albeit an unlikely one, of going as high as sixth if other results go in their favour and they get a win today. But they go into this game in 13th place largely sustained by their away form rather than their home form. Ferdinand Taki, recent signing who made his debut in the 1-0 win away to Maidenhead, makes his home debut today. Mark Goldberg of Bromley has a rather experienced squad at his disposal, particularly with some established forward names. But before the game begins, a chance to pay our respects to Hazel Manning, a great servant of Farnborough FC and one-time treasurer who recently, very sadly, passed away. So Bromley are in third place, they are the favourites, they get the game started here at Paddy Power Park. Early chance for Farnborough to get the ball forward but out of play. Now what can Farnborough do from this free kick? In it goes, Taki and Brown competing. That's right up in the air, making life a little bit difficult for Seb Brown. Bromley with a chance to get a free kick in here. That will be just a goal kick. Josh Webb. An accurate cross-field ball, that. Opportunity here for Farnborough to get a shot in on goal with Phil Page, but the shot goes well wide and high. What a lovely chest down that. This has given an opportunity for Bromley. In it goes, chance for Jamie Slabber, who hits the side netting from close range. Quite an even contest, but Bromley have got a chance here, which they don't capitalise on. Craig Ross with the goal kick. Recent signing for Farnborough. It's an accurate goal kick as well. Finding Okunaburhi, finding Ball. Ball to Page, but behind. Now it's Bromley breaking through here. Very, very nice work this from Dennis, and he's won a free kick. Dennis himself standing over the ball. Definitely got his eye on goal, but no joy. That's a rather loose one. Could this be a tricky one for Seb Brown to deal with? He keeps cool under pressure. Farnborough still in possession, though, with Matt Ball. Rogers. Farnborough have had some success in those balls looking for Fenji Okunaburhi, who finds Matt Ball. Well, he's trying to go all the way through here, but only as far as Seb Brown. Well, Bromley and Farnborough don't look like they've got ten places or so between them in the league at the moment. Oh, it's a good save from Ross. Chance for Dennis there. Now, Bromley just started to apply a little bit more pressure. There's a chance. Another really good save from Craig Ross from the shot by Waldron. Goalless at the interval. Bromley perhaps have looked the better side in the start of the, at the start of the second half here. It's with Joe Anderson. Retaining possession by knocking it back to Reese Prestige. To Dennis, to Prestige. This is a chance here. But only a simple one for Ross. Ollie Treacher. <coughs> now Phil Page. Matt Ball shot over. Farnborough will feel that they've had some chances here, as indeed will Bromley. It's been a, a fairly even contest. Mark Goldberg's men have just won a free kick here on Dennis. Oh, Farnborough. Oh, they've completely failed to get the ball away. Now, this is an opportunity, and they have been punished. Oh dear, Farnborough punished there, Pierre-Joseph Dubois scoring after 55 minutes to put Bromley ahead. 
Farnborough just did not get that ball away and Spencer Day will be incandescent about it. Now how will Farnborough respond to going a goal down? That's the big question. Birchall, he's knocked the ball back and there's a chance for a cross here. In it goes. Oh, Farnborough, oh, they didn't get the ball away fully. Oh, what a shot that was! Danny Waldron, the skipper, leading by example with a lovely strike. Well, yet again, Farnborough didn't manage to get the ball away, but Bromley have scored two goals in two minutes. What a strike that was from Waldron. Rogers, well, Farnborough look a little bit shell-shocked now. And they respond quickly. Free kick. Certainly a big opportunity here. In it goes, Bryce. Oh, he scored! Now then, there's a chance here for Farnborough. There's only a goal in it. Adam Bryce nodding on. Just beyond the reach of Seb Brown's fingertips. Again, Farnborough not getting the ball away. It's broken, but the shot's wide. Ollie Treacher. Hasn't been as far forward as he has in previous games. Phil Page. Seb Brown with that long kick. Looking for the nod on. Didn't quite get it. Farnborough should be able to get this ball away, but they haven't. Struggled at times today to deal with that first opportunity to clear, but Ross gathers. Bromley now starting to look like a classy side. Ademola. He's created a lot of space for his team here. Oh, where was that? Right on the edge of the box. Well, that one couldn't have been much closer to being in the penalty area. In it comes. Punch clear by Ross, or possibly headed clear, hard to tell. Chance here, but the shot blocked. Now Farnborough, can they break? Treacher, finding Josh Webb. Punch clear by Seb Brown, did well to get that ball away. Again, Bromley, they're really not happy just to go for the 2-1 win here and hold on, they really want a third goal. And they've got a real chance here with Duncan Cully. What can he do? Maybe he's taken a little bit too long, but he shoots nonetheless and Ross saves. Well, Craig Ross has had a good displaying goal today for Farnborough. He's done well to keep Bromley at bay for most of the game. Couldn't really have done much about either goal. Prestige. Ademola, he's looked lively. This is a chance, but the flag up for offside. Now, Farnborough really running out of time, but they have got a chance here if they can make something of this free kick. The ball goes high. It's nodded on. This is a chance. Put across the face of goal, but behind. Can Farnborough seize the opportunity with this corner and level the game? It goes up and over. What now? Last chance perhaps for Farnborough. This might be their last opportunity. The referee has blown for time and Farnborough will feel desperately disappointed yet again here at home. They were ever so close to getting something out of that game, but it's a 2-1 win for Bromley who reassert their claim to be the top side here in the Conference South.